Hello YouTube and welcome. For those of you who haven't watched my previous video about this Parkside brushless angle grinder, well, its problem is this massive failure of the motor control board. You can see in the hole over here. This is the place where another MOSFET transistor should have been. And this is far beyond repair. That's why I had to order this Chinese motor control board for brushless motors without hole sensor. This angle grinder is using such motor. And this is high output 1 kilowatt control board. You can see how massive is the radiator of this thing. This is the original radiator of the original board. You can see the difference in size. The board has a speed controlling potentiometer, which I'm not planning to use, and a forward reverse switch working in real time. Unfortunately, it has only two wires. It doesn't have the third wire for connecting to the battery sensing temperature terminal, but uh, those are the risks when ordering aftermarket parts and parts that are not intended to the specific machine you are repairing. Nevertheless, this board is perfect for the angle grinder. It will fit in its control board compartment. Now I might cut and short circuit the potentiometer and forward reverse switch cables but you never know what tomorrow holds for you and where else I might uh, need this board so for now I will leave them like this and maybe I will only put some insulation at top of them to be sure there won't be any failure of course I will disassemble the gearing mechanism of the angle grinder and inspect it, but uh, I think it's in perfect condition. Nevertheless, I will put some grease in it. Before assembling the whole angle grinder, let's do some testing with the new control board. Something important when you work with control boards for brushless motors, pay attention not to short circuit the output cables this will destroy it almost instantly your board and also pay attention for the negative and the positive input terminals again it will destroy your board if you connect them wrongly now negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the control board positive terminal and the battery to the positive terminal of the control board let me reduce the speed And now by turning the potentiometer and simply by switching this switch over here it automatically changed the rotation.
in order to check the gearing mechanism I will have to drill this screw because it got rounded and like I was thinking the gearing mechanism is in perfect condition now let's continue with placing some new grease I couldn't find the exact same screws like the one that I drilled so I will be using those two Well, it didn't end up as expected, but I finally managed to stuff the control board, the potentiometer, the switch and all the cables inside the handle of the angle grinder. And it's working. Yes, indeed, it's working. I will show you. Of course, I could have used the potentiometer as on-off switch and avoid this beeping sound each time when I turn on the angle grinder, but uh, this is a easy fix and I could implement it later. Now, I will have to place some insulation on the forward reverse switch and the potentiometer and close the angle grinder and here is the insulation on the potentiometer and the forward reverse switch now it's time to Close the unit.
and here it is fully assembled and most important working That's it guys, thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video.